and I'm back at you guys with another review and unboxing. Okay, so over the weekend I was in uh, Indianapolis with the family, and I, you know, I got to hit up all the shoe stores. I went to the finish line, and I, one of the first things I seen was the Nike Shake Indestruct. Now this shoe is a super classic for anybody that's in the classic Nikes. This shoe is the shoe to try to get. You know, back when Dennis Rodman wore this shoe, this was the same year that the Air Jordan 11 came out, and it seemed like a it seemed like a hot year for a lot of shoes. Even the um, uh, Scottie Pippins came out as well, and th it was it was a hot year for sneakers. And this shoe was one of the one of the classics that I had to get my hands on because of the design. The design is all the way different. You know, you got your shoe strings that tie on the side. You got your big old Nike sign that go across the whole shoe. And it, like I said, and it's worn by Dennis Rodman. You know, Dennis Rodman to me was one of the best defensive players in the NBA, in my opinion, that ever really pretty much lived. I saw, I like Rasheed Wallace. That was my homie too. But uh, Dennis Rodman, he was known for having the wild, crazy styles. And this shoe definitely matched his style because the shoe was wild as well. So on to this review. The shoe is pretty much entirely synthetic leather. Um, I don't think we'll get any complaints because the leather looks really, really good. Honestly, the leather looks great. It feels good. And, you know, it's not going to get you, the, your foot is not going to get as hot as you think because you do have your air holes up there on the toe box area. Um, you know, years ago, the Nike Shake Evolve came out and I got this shoe because I could not find the Shake Indestruct. So I had to settle for these shoes. They were on an all right shoe. I liked them because they were different. They came with that 3M shoe string, 3M across here if you flash your light at it or whatever like that. But... They 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 honestly do not really compare to the original Shake Indestruct. Now, if you're not familiar with the Shake Indestruct, this box will definitely confuse you. Like you'll probably be sitting there staring at this box trying to figure out how to read this for minutes. But it is Shake Indestruct. I don't know why they worded it like that. But you know, like I said, the shoe's crazy. The wording is crazy. Dennis Rodman is crazy. Hey, they try. They probably try to make everything crazy about the shoe. Even the release date is crazy because this shoe, as I'm told, is not officially released yet. They do have a black colorway releasing as well. But when I when I went to the cash register to pay for the shoe, they said they only had two to three in each size, and they said that it's not even supposed to be out. The guy tried to prove it to me and even called House of Hoops and. They said that they're not releasing this shoe for another almost two months. So that definitely made me even more happy and more eager to grab the shoe at that time. Now, everything like I, like I was told or like I've heard is pretty much all the way original. That tornado thing on the back, that's original. Now, the strap on this side, I seen some pictures of Dennis Rodman hooping in these. And a couple pictures show with the red strap, and I seen a picture with the black strap. So totally original. I'm not exactly sure of. I'm also I also heard that the even the rubber is sorta different on the bottom, which I don't think 99% people care anyway if they're buying this retro shoe. But that's just what I heard, and I'm passing it along to you. So I'm going to give you guys an on-foot view of this shoe to let you know how I wear it because, you know, style has totally changed. Even since the last time a shoe, this model, model Indestruct, this colorway has never been, um, this colorway has never been released, but the Indestruct shoe has been released years and years ago. But, you know, style has changed. People dress different. People wear their shoes different. So I'm going to give you guys an overview, on-foot view of how I wear the shoe. So I'll be back at you guys with that in a minute. Um, until then, you know, leave your comments. Hit that little bell down there to get all the updates and all of the notifications when I do a review on a sneaker review or even sneaker news or whatever I may give to you guys as subscribers and viewers. So this is Spencer Great, and I'll be back at you guys with another review next week or even sooner than that.